Hello and welcome back to another Heroes of RPGs. A series not about the heroes we play in RPGs, but the amazing guys who created the games we enjoy so much. And this time we'd like to talk about Michael A. Stackpole. Michael Austin Stackpole was born on November 27, 1957, and was born in Wazoe, Wisconsin, but raised in Vermont. He has a BA in History from the University of Vermont, and from 1977 on, he worked as a designer of role-playing games for various gaming companies, and wrote dozens of magazine articles with limited distribution within the industry. He was hired full-time at Flying Buffalo after they accepted his submission for a solo Tunnels and Trolls adventure, which was published in 1978 as City of Terrors. He wrote columns on industry news and reviews for Flying Buffalo's magazine, Sorcerer's Apprentice and worked for Coleco from 1980 to 1981 as a result of a meeting between Rick Loomis, Stackpole, and the president of Coleco at a gaming and pinball convention. Stackpole designed the role-playing game Mercenary Spies and Private Eyes, which Flying Buffalo published in 1983, but left Flying Buffalo after the company's 1985 move to Scottsdale, Arizona. Stackpole, Ken Andre, and Liz Danforth designed the computer role-playing game Wasteland, published by Interplay in 1988 a game which is now seen as the predecessor to the massively successful Fallout series. He later returned to work with his fellow creators of Wasteland as a writer on its sequel, Wasteland 2, released in 2014 by In Exile Entertainment. In response to the accusations of Patricia Pulling, amongst others, who felt the occult elements of Dungeons & Dragons were driving people to suicide, Stackpole began to defend the game and the role-playing game community. Stackpole published one of his first articles about the media misinformation in Sorcerer's Apprentice No. 14 in the spring of 1982, in an article called Devil's Games? Nonsense, and even debated the Western Regional Director of Pulling's Bad Organization, bothered about Dungeons and Dragons, on the radio on July 14, 1987. He compared bad statistics of suicides amongst roleplayers to the general rate of teen suicide, and found the number of roleplayers committing suicide was actually lower than those who were not gamers and published his argument in an article called The Truth About Role-Playing Games in the 1989 book Satanism in America. He also published the document The Pulling Report in 1990, which further discredited Pulling's stand against role-playing games. In the 1980s, while Stackpole was designing computer games for Coleco and then Interplay Productions, he helped create The Bard's Tale 3, Neuromancer, Star Trek 25th Anniversary, and Star Trek Judgment Rights, as well as Wasteland, and wrote several solo adventures for the Tunnel and Trolls role-playing system, including Dargon's Dungeon, Overkill, City of Terrors, and Sewers of Oblivion. Stackpole loaned his image to Decipher for the image of Corrin Horn, used in their Star Wars customizable card game, and in 1986 he wrote his first novel, the fantasy story Talion Revenant. His editors believed that a 175,000 word book was too long for an unknown author, and that the story wasn't particularly engaging. The story remained unpublished for the next 11 years until reworked by Stackpole's editor, Anne Leslie Grohl. Stackpole clarifies these issues himself in the afterword of the published version of Talion, which was released in 1997 by Bantam Books. Stackpole's first published novels were the Warrior Trilogy for their Battletech universe, published by Fazza in 1988 to 1989. His Blood of Kerensky Trilogy, 1989 to 1991, were the last novels published directly by Fazza. But the Battletech cartoon in 1994 was set during the events of this trilogy. He also wrote a trilogy of novels published in 1992, which were based on the Dark Conspiracy role-playing game by Games Designers Workshop. He has found his greatest success in serial works that continue the characters and plotlines developed by other authors. After the Battletech novels, he was selected to write several novels in the Star Wars universe for Bantam Books. He also wrote several comics based in the Star Wars universe for Dark Horse Comics. Initially, these covered the period just before his X-Wing novels. Later, he covered the marriage of Luke Skywalker and Mara Jade in the graphic novel Union, and collaborated with Timothy Zahn on Mara Jade's early career. In the foreword to his book Outbound Flight, Timothy Zahn thanks Stackpole and has used the challenge that Star Wars Review pursued. In addition, he has written several novels and short stories with original settings. One series is the Dragon Crown War Cycle. These books attempted to break fantasy conventions in order to stir readers' interest, including the introduction of firearms in a fantasy setting. Reception in these books was fairly positive based on Amazon reviews, but reviews elsewhere were not as good. Stackpole contributed one of the four stories in Roger Zelensky's Shared World anthology, Forever After, published by Bayern Books in 1995. 
He was a contributor in 1998 to anthology Lord of the Fantastic, commemorating Zelensky. The Age of Discovery trilogy is his latest complete series, with a new world released in mid-2007. The trilogy is set in a fantasy world, with an attempt at an unconventional approach to magic and mystery. The Crown Colonies is a trilogy that reimagines the event of the American Revolutionary War. The first book, At the Queen's Command, was released in November 2010. At the New York Comic Con 2012, it was revealed that Blizzard Entertainment had approached Stackpole to write the next novel in their series based on the popular MMORPG World of Warcraft. The novel, titled Vol'jin Shadows of the Horde, centers around the chieftain of the Dark Spear Trolls as his loyalty to the Horde is put to the ultimate test after an assassination attempt on his life. The novel was released in July 2013. His untiring work to defend role-playing as a hobby and his amazing work in so many shared universes makes him one of our heroes of RPGs. But perhaps the greatest title he's ever been given is when an outer main-built asteroid was discovered on March 23, 2001 by David B. Healy and was named 165612 Stackpole in his honour. As always, many thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like what we're doing. But most of all, you look after yourselves. And I'll catch you later. Bye.